Hi, this is Mrs. Oni, and we're going to use a new website today called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. This website is a graphic design uh, website that allows you to create posters, cards, uh, animated social media posts, all kinds of cool stuff. So um, when you get to Canva.com, in the top right corner, you click Sign Up. And then on the left side, you click sign up with Google and then you put in your email or click on it. If it's in the list, put in your password, hit next, and you should be in. It's going to come to this screen right here. What will we be using Canva for? So click the middle one that says student. And then in the top right corner, click skip. We're not going to invite anybody else right now. And then where it says start your first design, you're going to click in there and type the word card. Because we're going to make a card. So click on the first thing in the list that says a 5 by 7 card. And then it's going to come up over here on the left with some templates. If you don't know what a template is, it's a ready-made document that gets you started on a project. And then you can just change it to suit your needs. So on the left hand side, we're on templates and that's what I'd like you to use this time. And there are birthday card templates, thank you card templates, greeting cards, all kinds of templates. You could even search up here for Easter card if you wanted to, if you wanted to make an Easter card. Um, I'm going to make a birthday card and I'm letting you make whatever kind of card you want this time and turn it in. My daughter's birthday is Wednesday, Hannah will be 22, so I'm going to make her birthday card. So you can scroll down and pick out a design you like. I'm going to choose um, one of these on the left hand side here. Um, when you're choosing these, some of the stuff you have to pay for, some of it you don't. So if you mouse over stuff like I'm doing, it's saying free on a bunch of these. So make sure you pick one that's free. So I'm going to pick, see this one's not free. I'm going to pick this one above it that is free comes up with the template here so I can change anything on here. I can move stuff around. I can add more elements to it as long as I pick um, free stuff. As you move stuff, it will come apart. Like that happy birthday separated from the box that was behind it. You can easily click on stuff and drag it, resize it, whatever you'd like. Over here on the left hand side, let's play with some of these items here. So I'm gonna click text first and it's going to let me choose from three different kinds of text. I'm going to click heading and then it comes up on the screen over here on the right. So if I grab that heading and move it to where I want it, I'm going to put it down here and then I can double click in there and type her name. If you don't like the size of it, you can pull on a corner to make it bigger. If you want to move it, you got to get this double arrow, that black double arrow. I just had my mouse on and you can move stuff around. If you don't want something on the screen, you just click it and hit delete and that is gone. So you can also play around with some of these font combinations as you guys work on your cards. On the left hand side, you can click on backgrounds and I don't have to go with the background that's there. If I pick a different one that's free, see it changes to that background. Just be sure to pick free ones so that you don't have to pay for anything. On the left hand side, let's go ahead and go to elements. These elements over here on the left are things that you can pick. Wow, oh, there's coronavirus. Um, so you could search in here for birthday and pick some birthday stuff to put in there if you want to add stuff to your card. So that one is free. So if I click on it, it pops up over here on my card. Just be remember a few things. Pick stuff that is free. When you design it, make sure it's not too cluttered. We'll talk more about design as we work through this program and do some fun things with. Um, if you want to upload a picture, I should include that. Over here on the left hand side, it does say upload. Then you have to upload an image from your desktop. And so if you have an image already on there, or if you take an image with your camera, then you can upload it and put it on your card. Once you have your image on there, you click it, and then it comes up on your, on your card on the right. So you can move that around put it where you want it. When you make your card, I'm looking for a couple of things. Things kind of spaced out so it looks good. And um, I'm looking for correct spelling. So if you don't know how to spell a word like birthday 
and it's not on your card or get well soon or something like that, that you take the time to look it up and get it right. When you are finished up here in the right hand corner, you should be able to click this drop down and then you should be able to download it. And then when you download it, um, it should be a free download. It might say it's a PDF, which is a document. You don't have to do a PDF. You could do a JPEG would be probably easier to upload to Google Classroom. It's a small file. And then click download. It's gonna prepare your cool design of the card that you made. And then it's gonna come down here in the bottom left corner. Now it will be named whatever the card was. So mine was called Happy Birthday. It might be something different and that's okay this first time through. Um, I'm going to close this window. Okay, instead of downloading up here in the corner, you can click share. Click share. And then what you can do is you can type in my email to see your card. Then you don't have to worry about um, downloading and uploading. And this will be helpful if you're on a Chromebook. So if you type in my email and then you can leave it on can edit. And then you send me an invite where my email is woni at south-central.org. Send me an invite and then I can see your card. So as you finish your card, you can come up here to share and you could put the person's email in that you want to send the card to and they'll get it in their email. If you want to download it, you can or you can screenshot. Remember a screenshot is command shift four on a Mac click and drag, and you can screenshot it. Okay, if you want to screenshot on a Chromebook, you hold on the control plus the shift plus the show windows key. The show windows key is in the top middle of your Chromebook. It looks like a rectangle with the lines on the side. All changes should save automatically, but you can always click on file and click save. I hope everyone is doing well. Miss you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. Hope to see your card soon. Take care. Bye.